Hello, darlings. Okay, so today I want to talk a little bit about the full moon that's coming up. The pink full moon is uh, going to be the 6th. So what's today? Tuesday, so the Thursday, the 6th. Um, the peak full moon is known as the awakening moon. It's uh, about spirits rising after the winter and imparting clarity of wisdom and healing and a sense of rejuvenation to the world around them. It's all about, um, you know, like the, the awakening of spring, right? Pink full moon named after, I think it was a moss that when it first grows again, it grows about this time. So this is like the first full moon of spring, okay? So full moons are a great place in the energy of the world around us to capture and be able to release that which no longer serves you, okay? So that's the key with the full moon. Full moon is releasing that which no longer serves you. Um, new moon is to bring in new beginnings, okay? So how does one capitalize on the full moon? Well, personally, what I do is I write out the things that I want to release, right? That which no longer serves me. Now, here's the big thing. You have to write it out in the present tense. You have to write it out in um, a very positive manner. And you have to write it out like it's already happened, right? So that's the present tense thing. Um, present tense, like it's already happened. And then um, the wording matters. Like you've got to make it a positive thing. So best example, if I were to want to quit smoking, I would not put, I am so happy, or I, I would not put, I quit smoking, or I want to quit smoking. What I would put is I am so happy and grateful that I am a non-smoker and my lungs and body have healed completely, done. <clears throat> and that is how I would burn the manifestation to release smoking, which no longer serves me, right? Um, pick, pick something, pick a person, pick a, you know, soft drinks, pick, um, releasing the fact that you're a freaking pushover and let everybody fucking bull over you all day long. I don't know. Just pick something, whatever it is that you need to release. The full moon is the perfect time to do that. And, um, yeah, so you will find me Thursday night burning under the full moon. Did I forget myself? Oh, beautiful. There are a lot of other rituals you can do uh, candles, water. Oh, oh, full moon here. Gosh. Full moon is also when you want to put your crystals out to charge. It will um, cleanse and clear your crystals. So you're going to want to take all your crystals that are mobile. <laughs> I even will put anything that is wood or metal. So like I have metal stars all over my house. So I will shuffle those. They, you know, a couple of stars will get get charged because again, it just it absorbs and and takes in that high positive vibe, that high charge. And then you bring that back into your house. So pull your, put your crystals out tonight. The, the power of the full moon is for three days. So the day before, the day after. So full moon is the sixth. So the fifth tonight, Thursday night, Friday night. You can do any of this under the power of the full moon in those three days. Um, charge crystals. When you put them out, you need to make sure they come inside before the sun hits them. Because then they're charged with sun and not with the moon. Last month, all of my crystals were sitting in my window here. And I did not get up in early enough to not have the sun hit them on this side of the house. Usually they go on my back patio, which is that direction. But I was too lazy to carry all of them across the house. I just decided, ooh, they get, they get moon right here in my window. And um, it works just fine. Except uh, that's east and that's the direction the sun comes from. So um, it would have meant I had to stay up a lot earlier. So what I ended up doing is I just left it out, let it charge in the sun, then got the moon. Yeah, full moon. Burn. Burn at the moon. Why not? What's it?
it gonna hurt? What's it gonna hurt?